Hello children, welcome to my channel. This is menstruation part 2 of class 10. In the first part, I have already explained the concepts of uh, cylinder and cone, their formulas, volume, surface area, etc. Hollow cylinder, solid cylinder, uh, solid cylinder, then cone. Okay. In this part, I will be solving simply examples. Okay. So move to page number 315, uh, concise mathematics. Uh, page number 315, exercise 20 F. Move to question number 2. Question number 2. From a solid cylinder whose height is 16 cm and radius 12 cm. Okay. There is a solid cylinder like this. Okay. There is a solid cylinder. Then uh, its height is 16 cm. And the radius is 12 cm. Radius is 12 cm. Okay. Radius is 12 cm. This is height. This is radius. Okay. Then a conical cavity of height 8 cm. Okay. A conical cavity of height 8 cm. This is the conical cavity. Okay. Its height is 8 cm. I will take cm, radius is 6 cm. Okay. This is uh, cut out of the cylinder. Okay. We have to find the volume and total surface area of the remaining solid. Okay. So let us find volume first. Volume is very easy. Remember this. So first go for volume, then go for area. Volume is equal to volume is equal to pi x square x minus 1 by 3 pi x square x volume of cylinder minus volume of core ok because the cone has been taken out so pi common r square x minus 1 by 3 r square x ok pi value is 22 by 7 r square x r is 12 as you can see 12 square is 144, 144 into 16. 144 into 16. 1 by 3, r square x, r is 6. 6 square is 36. Into 8. Okay. So 3 into 12 is 36. This is 8. This is 144 into 16 is 2304 minus 12 into 8 is 96 which is 22 by 7 into 2204 2208 resulting solid when the cone is taken out of the cylinder ok 6939.43 cubic cm now let us go for area volume 1 very easy is simply subtracted volume of cone from volume of cylinder ok sometimes you have to add here the cone was taken out of the cylinder so you subtracted if the cone is added extra to the cylinder then you have to simply add for volume, it is very easy. But surface area, I have to imagine. You need imagination for that. Okay. This is the cylinder. This is the cone. Okay. From the bottom, if you see, 
from the bottom if you see this is the uh, cross section of the cylinder and this will be the cross section of the core and this part will be empty so this is this is the material here will be the material so you have to consider this part but this part you have to neglect because it is hollow then inside this there will be surface area I means square surface area of the core that also you have to consider while taking into consideration total surface area so TSA is equal to you can start from the top ok if you start from the top then up we have a circle which is pi r square then curved surface area of the cylinder which is 2 pi r x plus now look at the base this is the base this part you have to exclude so area of the annulus area of the circular ring which is pi r square minus pi r square plus this first surface area of the cone which is pi r a ok see l we have not found yet ok l we have not found yet so let us find l i have forgotten to find l l is equal to r square plus s plus using Pythagoras theorem r is 6 6 square is 36 h is 8 8 square is 64 which is 100 square which is 10 cm ok 10 cm so l is 10 cm now directly do not put values ok have patience and uh, try to shorten the formula pi r square plus pi r square is 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h plus pi r l minus pi r square ok so pi common pi common remaining is 2 r square plus 2 r h plus pi common means r l minus r square R is 12, R is uh, means the radius of the cylinder was uh, 12, correct? So 12 square is 142 plus 2 into R is 12, height is 16, R into L means R is 6, L is 10, just now we have found L is 10 minus 6, R square means 6 square which is 36, okay? That is equal to 22 by 7. Okay. 22 by 7 into this is 288 plus 2 into 12 into 16. 32 into 12 is 320. 384. 384 plus 60 minus 36. Which is 22 by 7 into 288 plus 384 plus 60 minus 36. 60 minus 36, which is 696, which is 696. Six nine six. So ultimately we get six ninety six into twelve. Six ninety six into twelve is eight three. Sorry, not twelve. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Six ninety six into twenty two. Okay, six ninety six into twenty two is one five three one two divided by seven is two one eight seven. Point two 
सर्कस टेंट इज सिलिंड्रिकल टू ए हाइट ऑफ एट मीटर ओके सिलिंड्रिकल टू ए हाइट ऑफ एट मीटर दस मीटर का टाइम है ओके एट मीटर इट इज लुकिंग लाइक ए रेक्टेंगल बट एज यूज़ इट इज ए सिलिंड्र फ्रॉम द साइड ओके दिस इज ए सिलिंड्र टू एट मीटर सरमाउंटेड बाय कोनिकल पार्ट सो देयर इज अ कोन ऑफ वेट सपोज दिस इज द को This is the cone. Okay. Total height of the tank is thirteen meter. This is thirteen. This is eight. So this must be five meter. This must be five meter. Then uh, diameter of its base is twenty-four meter. This is twenty-four meter. Okay. This is twenty-four meter. We have to find total surface area of the tank. Okay. Total surface area means we need the slant height of the cone, which is not given. You have to find. So, R square plus S square is equal to R square. L is equal to R square means ready. Diameter is twenty four, so radius will be twelve. Okay. So twelve square is one forty four. R square height is five meter. You can see in the diagram. Five square is twenty five square root. 169 square feet is 30 meter. Okay, so slant height is 30 meter. L is 30 meter. Now we can go for total surface area of the tank. TSA is equal to. See, total surface area of the tank means base area we should not consider because in At the base, there is simply soil. Okay, there is no canvas there. There is simply soil. So you neglect the base area. We will take into take into consideration the cut surface area of the cylinder and the cut surface area of the core. Okay. So two pi r x. Two pi r x plus pi r l. This is for cylinder and this is for core. Okay. We can take pi comma. Here R and R are same. Also, this R stands for cylinder. This R stands for cone. Here, radius of both of them are same. Okay, twelve twelve meter. So I can take R also common. Remaining is two x plus n. So pi R means R is twelve. Two into h. At means height of cylinder, okay, which is eight meter. So two into eight is sixteen. Slant height is thirteen. We have got thirteen. So twenty-two into twelve into twenty-nine by seven. Because some part of the canvas will be definitely wasted, okay? 
whenever you make something some part is wasted okay for this cert the tailor must have taken some amount of cloth or some quantity of cloth okay and some part of the cloth must have been wasted and after that this cut was made similarly this pant was made so definitely some part is wasted okay so we have to take area of canvas more than this then only we will get this because some part will be wasted and according to the question 10% is wasted and after 10% is wasted this much area of tent is formed okay so what is the area of canvas required so this is not the exact area okay this is not exact it is 71 1093.71429 something okay so this is not exact so when you are doing the calculation take this one this is the exact one okay so second bit let area of canvas be x Okay, let area of canvas be x. So x into 100 minus 10 by 100 means 10 percent is wasted. 10 percent is wasted. After 10 percent is wasted, we get this 22 into 12 into 29. 22 into 12 into 29 by 7. Do not take this one. Okay, take the exact value. So is equal to 22 into 12 into 29 by 7 into 100 by 90 0 0 cancel 3 3 is 9 2 4 is 12 ok so this is equal to this is equal to 22 into 4 into 29 okay 22 into 4 into 29 into again 10 10 is there so 2 double 5 2 0 divided by 7 which is eh? oh sorry not divided by 7 sorry sorry sorry, sorry. divided by 21 7 into 3 is 21 okay. 2 double 5 2 0 2 double 5 2 0 by 21 which is 21 which is 1 to 1 5 1 to 1 5 point point 2 3 8 1 means 2 4 2 4 square meter so if we take this much area of canvas then 10 percent of it will be wasted the remaining will become this area of 10 1093.71 square meter ok now move to question number uh, 7 question number 7 the diagram is given there is a wooden toy which is a combination of a cone, a cone, a cone and a cylinder, a cone and a cylinder. From the side it looks like a triangle and a rectangle but it is not. Okay? Assume that this is a cone and this is a cylinder attached to each other. Height of the cone is 24 cm. This is 24 cm. Then total height of the toy is 60 cm. Total is 60. This is 24. So this will be 60 minus 24, which is 36. Okay. Then radius of the base of the cone. The radius of cone is twice the radius of the cylinder. And radius of cylinder is 10 cm. Okay. So radius of cylinder is 10 cm. The radius of cone is double means 20 cm. Ready? 20 cm. Find the total surface area of the toy. Pi value is given 3.14. Okay. See, when pi value is not given, you have to take 22 by 7. But when it is given, you have to take 
what it is given in the question. If it is given 22 by 7, you have to take 22 by 7. If it is given 3.14, then you have to take 3.14. Okay? So, pi value you have to see. If it is not given, then you take your one 22 by 7. Otherwise, take the value which is given in the question. So, this is height of cone, this is radius of cone. This is height of cylinder, this is radius of cylinder. We need surface area means first we need to find the slant height of the cone which is not given to us. So let us find slant height. Okay. So L square is equal to R square plus H square. L is equal to R square means radius is 20. Okay, radius is 20, I have written there. 20 square is 400. H square means 24 square which is 576. Okay, square, square root, so 976 square root, you have to find this value, okay, that is fine, I am using calculator, you cannot use calculator, square root of, square root of 976 is 31.24, 31.24, 31.24 uh, cm. This is slant height of the cone. Now we will go for total surface area of the top. So TSA is equal to, okay, we can start from the bottom. We can start from the bottom. Uh, area of the base of the cylinder is pi h. I am taking capital R and capital H for the cylinder. Small r and small h for the cone. Okay, pi square for the cylinder. Then first surface area of the cylinder is. 2 pi r h then see it is not visible but how it will look like see suppose this is the base of the cone and the one end of the cylinder is attached to the base of the cone like this this part is closed this part is closed okay this part is closed so we will not take it into consideration in case of area but this will not be taken, the shredded part will not be taken because it is closed. You have to take this part, which is a circular ring or annulus. And what is its area? Pi r square minus pi r square. Okay? Area of outer circle minus area of inner circle. So this part is also over. Then, curved surface area of the pole, which is pi r. So this is the formula to find the total surface area of this top okay you have to find this by your own okay use your imagination think from top to bottom or from bottom to top and find the total surface area formula then do not put values take common if you can which is equal to pi r square plus pi r square 2 pi r square 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h plus pi r n minus pi r square pi can be taken common remaining is so 2 r square 2 r square plus 2 r h plus r n minus Okay, so which is equal to which is equal to pi value is 22 by 7. Now put value, okay. Now put value 2 into r square, which is our radius of the cylinder, which is 10 cm. So r square is 100, then 2 rh. So 2 into uh, radius of the cylinder is 10, height is 36, I have written 36, then plus RL means radius of the cone is 20, slant height is uh, how much I got? 32 point something I got. 
31.24 minus r square what is r 20 r is 20 ready for the cone is 20 20 square is 400 which is equal to 22 by 7 into let us calculate this okay let us calculate this this is 200 so this is 720 this is 20 into 31.24 31.24 64.8 minus 400 okay oh sorry 5 you have to take 3.1 because it was given at 4 button okay 5 is not 22 by 7 we have to take 3.14 3.14 According to the question, into now this is this is two hundred plus seven twenty plus six to four point eight six to four point eight minus four hundred, which is one one four four point eight one one four four point eight, which is. into 1144.8 into 3.14 is equal to 3594 3594.67467 67 is like square uh, cm so this is the total surface area of the toy 3594.67 square cm ok next Move to question number 12. 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 This is the cross section. Okay. Now water is flowing through this channel. This is a channel cross section of a channel, and water is flowing through this. This is 21 cm, and this is 7 cm. Okay. Assuming that the channel is always full, means water is full. Always. Water is full. Okay. And water is flowing through this channel at a certain speed. What is the speed? Uh, rate is means speed of water inside the channel is 20 cm per second okay twenty cm per second give your answer correct okay what you have to find uh, find the volume of water discharged through this channel in one minute first of find how much water is discharged through this channel in one second then I'll multiply by 60 I'll get one minute okay so that is my target give your answer in cubic meters first we'll get in cubic cm because it is in cm you can see this is cm cm it was given in cm speed is also given in cm per second so first we'll find in cubic cm then we'll convert to cubic meter it will be very easy now the formula this is related to plus 9 and given the formula for volume flow rate okay insert to write gfr gfr means volume flow rate means the volume of water or liquid that passes through a pipe or passes through such a channel having uniform cross section in unit time means in one second so what is the volume of water or liquid passing through this channel or pipe 
in one second that is called volume chloride and its formula is area of cross section of the pipe or channel into speed remember this this is important okay and given is plus minus also so this is equal to area of cross section means area of rectangle plus area of this semicircle now area of rectangle means l into b l b area of rectangle means l b now area of semicircle is pi r square by 2 so this is the total area of cross section of the channel then speed is given 20 cm per second let us put value lb means 21 into 7 which is 7147 plus 1 by 2 pi is 22 by 7 now radius the radius of the semicircle you can see this is the diameter of the semicircle which is 21 if diameter is diameter is 21 radius will be 21 by 2 so 21 by 2 whole square means 21 by 2 into 21 by 2 okay so this is the area cross section of the channel into 20 okay into into 20 into 20 and the unit will be cubic cm per second because this is volume flow rate how much volume is flowing through the pipe or channel in one second so volume and second time so cubic cm per second so let us simplify this this is 2 into 11 is 22 7 into 3 is 21 okay 147 plus 11 into 3 into 21 means 33 into 21 33 into 21, 693, by 4, 693 by 4 into 20. Okay, into 20. Let us calculate this. This is equal to. Plus six ninety three by four into twenty four pi. Okay, so this into pi. So what is it? Let us calculate pi eight eight pi eight eight plus six nine three six nine three is one two eight one into pi six four zero pi. Six four zero five cubic cm per second. So in one second, six thousand four hundred five cubic cm of water is flowing through the channel in one second. But you have to find in one minute. Okay. So volume in one minute is equal to volume discharge. Okay, remember this. 
So one, one, two, three, four, five, six cubic meter. Okay. So cancel, cancel. Answer is three eight four three by ten thousand means zero point three eight four three. Zero point three eight four three cubic meters. So in one minute, this much quantity of water is discharged through the channel. Okay. Now the last question of this part, part two, question number thirteen. Question number thirteen. cylindrical vessel of internal diameter 7 cm and height 8 cm stands on a horizontal table okay. suppose this is a cylindrical vessel this is a cylindrical vessel ok its uh, diameter is 7 cm height is 8 cm ok height is 8 cm stands horizontally on a table Inside this is placed a solid metallic right circular cone. Okay, first we have to place a right circular cone like this, whose diameter is 3 hole 1 by 2 cm. Okay. Diameter is 3 hole 1 by 2 means 7 by 2. 3 hole 1 by 2 means 7 by 2. So R will be 7 by 4 cm. Radius of the cone is 7 by 4 cm and height is its height is also 8 cm. I did not know this. Its height is 8 cm. So my diagram is wrong. Diagram is wrong. Its height is also 8 cm. Suppose this is the cone. Okay. Radius of cone is 7 by 4 cm, height of cone is 8 cm. Height of cylinder is also 8 cm, but the radius is, but diameter is 7 cm. Okay, diameter is 7 cm, radius will be 7 by 2 cm. So this is capital H, then capital R is 7 by 2 cm. Okay, radius of the cylinder is 7 by 2 cm. Then find the volume of water required to fill the vessel. Okay, find the volume of water required to fill the vessel. So we will pour water into this. So the water will fill the vessel completely, completely. Okay. So what will be the volume of water required to fill the vessel? Definitely the difference in the volume of cylinder and the cone. Okay, that much quantity of water will be required to fill the vessel. Okay. Because a part of the volume of the cylinder has been occupied by the cone. Okay, so we cannot say that volume of water required to fill the vessel is equal to volume of cylinder no because a part of it has been occupied by the cone okay so this is question number 13 and for question number 13 question number 13 so volume of water required is equal to volume of cylinder minus volume of cone ok pi can be taken common then remaining is r square h minus 1 by 3 r square h pi will not be given so you could take 22 by 7 R square radius is what 7 by 2 7 by 2 square is 49 by 4 49 by 4 height is as you can see HCM height is HCM I could have taken F also common I forgot that height is same ok minus 1 by 3 R square radius is 7 by 4 as you can see so 7 by 4 whole square is 49 by 16 Height is also 8. You can see in the diagram, height is 8. Okay. Next. So, you can 
can see egg can also be taken common. Forty nine can also be taken common. Okay, eight and forty nine can be taken common. Twenty two by seven into forty nine into eight. Remaining is one by four minus one by three into one by sixteen. Forty nine eight is taken out, so remaining is one by three into one by sixteen. Seven into seven is forty nine. Twenty two into seven into eight. Twenty two into seven into eight into this is LCM is uh, forty eight. Four into four into twelve. Twelve minus one. Okay, twelve minus one. Twelve minus one. So now you can simplify. Twenty-two into seven into eight into eleven by forty-eight. Eight into six is forty-eight. Two into three is six. Two into eleven is twenty-two. So if you multiply eleven into seven into eleven, so one twenty-one into seven is seven. Seven into fourteen one. So now there's seven. Eight by three, which is three to the six. Twenty-two. Three to twenty-four. Three to the six point. Point. Three to the nine. Three 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 continues. Three three. Uh, cubic cm. Cubic cm. So two eighty two point three three cubic cm, which is seven mm. Three which is seven mm. Mm. So this much water is required. This much water is required to fill the cylindrical vessel when the cone is inside. Now, next part. If the cone is replaced by another cone, now what we will do? We will take out this cone. Okay. So definitely there will be drop in the level of water. Now the level of water is here, means it is here. When the cone will be taken out, the level of water will drop to some extent, to some level. I don't know what will be the level of water after the cone is taken out. Then again, one more cone will be placed inside it. Okay, the cone dimensions are given. Height is one of three by four cm. Radius is two cm. Okay. So again, there will be some rise in the level of water. First, this is the level of water, eight cm. Then after the cone is taken out, there will be fall in the level of water. Then when another cone is placed into the container, again there will be some rise in the level of water, but it will not reach the final level. Means it will not reach eight cm. Okay. Now we have been asked when the drop in the level of water means first water will come suppose to this level, okay? When the cone is taken out, now when one more cone is placed inside it, suppose the water will again increase to this level, okay? We have been asked to find uh, this gap. What is the fall in the level of water? Drop in the level of water. This uh, height we have to find. Okay, so how we will find this? See, imagine that this cone is taken out. Definitely, water will fall from this level to this level after the cone is taken out. Okay, now imagine that the same cone, the same cone, exactly the same cone. Not do not follow the question. Okay, try to understand what I am saying. Now, water is in this level. Okay, now imagine that. Again, the same cone is placed in, into the container. The same cone, exactly the same cone. Then again, the water will rise to the original level, that is eight cm. But actually, what happened? The same cone is not placed inside the container. Another cone, whose volume is less than the first cone. Okay, another cone, whose volume is less than the first cone, has been placed into the container. Therefore, the water rose to some level, but did not reach eight cm. That means this gap, this gap in the level of water is because of the difference in the volume of the two cones. Okay, the gap in the level of water is because of the difference in the volumes of the two cones. So from that we can find the height of means this gap, a drop in the level of water we can find. Now, when water will 
go up or move down it will take the shape of the container inside the inside which it is placed now the water is placed inside the cylindrical container so definitely water will take the shape of a cylinder okay so let the drop in the level of water be x let drop in the level of water be x cm okay now this gap this gap okay means uh, fall in the volume of water here there is no water now okay this gap was because of the difference in the volume of the two points okay so it is in the shape of cylinder this this gap also this gap also is in the shape of cylinder hollow cylinder okay so that is pi r square x okay pi r square x it will difference in the volume of the two points so 1 by 3 pi r 1 square x 1 minus 1 by 3 pi r 2 square x 2 okay pi r square x our target is x 1 by 3 pi common r1 square x1 minus r2 square x2 okay so pi pi can be cancelled then put the value okay what is capital r capital r is 7 by 2 7 by 2 whole square is 49 by 4 into x into 1 by 3 now r1 means positional term the first term R one is is R one. Now it is R one. Okay. Now it is R one. Again. So R one is seven by four. So seven by four whole square is forty nine by sixteen. H one is eight. Next. R two H two means radius and height of the second cone. Now radius of the second cone is given two uh, cm. Radius of the second cone is given two cm. Two square is four. Height of the second cone is given uh, one whole three by four cm. One whole three by four. One whole three by four means seven by four. Okay. So height is seven by four. Ready? So we'll just simplify this. Eight two are sixteen. Four four cancel. Which is equal to sorry, implied sorry, sorry, forty nine x by four is equal to one by three into now we put the LCM here forty nine by two minus seven. So LCM is two forty nine minus forty forty nine minus forty. Okay. So forty nine x. By four, forty-nine minus forty is thirty-nine, uh, thirty-five, thirty-five. Okay, thirty-five by six. Okay, by six. So x is equal to thirty-five by six into four by forty-nine. So let us simplify this. Seven by the thirty-five, seven by the forty-nine, two three by six, two three by four. So five to the ten by three seven to twenty one c. So fall in the level of water or drop in the level of water will be only ten by twenty one c. Okay. So I hope you have understood this part, second part. Okay. So all the best for this chapter. Thank you for watching.